Welcome back to this week's Coffee Break. Uh, this week I am in uh, Las Vegas for the Magnet Schools of America conference and I wanted to just send out a brief video. It looks a little different than the rest of my videos. Um, Ms. Helton, uh, Ms. Walker, Ms. Campbell are all here with me at the Magnet Schools of America conference. And I have to say that overall, you know, conferences are always a little hit and miss, but I think this week <clears throat> we found more hits than misses and little nuggets here and there that are that are helping us sort of rethink and reshape uh, what it means to be a magnet program where maybe some things we've kind of lost sight of over the time over the years so we'll be talking more about that later this week I just wanted to send a brief video to say hello and we'll be back in the building next week and to let you know, I ran across as I was walking down the hallway to go to one of my sessions. I happened to look inside a room where there was another session about to start. And there was a simple question on the projection screen. And it's the question that I want to ask you today. Are you the teacher you wish you had had when you were in high school? Are you the teacher that you wish you had had when you were in high school? Now, I had to unpack that a little bit for me because you know, I had to go back to middle school when I was actually a teacher. And I would have to say, no, I was not the teacher that I wished I had had in middle school. I wasn't understanding enough. I wasn't listening enough. I wasn't empathetic enough. Uh, I wasn't caring enough. I was, I was really interested in my career and keeping a job and covering the standards and getting to the test and you know the drill. Um, now I would have to say that to a great extent, and we all have room for improvement and I've got room for plenty of improvement, but to a great extent I think I am becoming the administrator that I wish I had had when I was in high school. I think I do listen more now than I did previously. I think I do try to a, a, attack problems from a more global perspective. I think I try to seek first to understand before being understood. Um, but I don't always do that. I, sometimes I fail at that. Sometimes I fail our kids. Sometimes I fail you as teachers. I think I get that. That's it. That's something that cannot be fixed it cannot be overcome it's always going to happen but in the main most of the time the vast majority of your time in the classroom are you the teacher you wish you had had in high school think about that this week if you want to send me some some feedback via email you're welcome to do that if you want to just ponder it for yourself and reflect on it that's fine as well um, and if you want to just say Tim that's rubbish and forget it that's okay too um, but it was a question I thought worth asking so we'll see you next week